Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Alex Avila with Love University, and we're back. I'm an author, psychologist, and speaker, and every week we talk about how to love ourselves, others, and a higher nature, how to improve our finances, career, relationships, health, and spirituality. And this week, we're continuing from last time, where we were talking about invincibility seeker relationships, how to have unstoppable relationships. So the greatest love of all is this kind of invincibility seeker relationship, where you're connected with someone in the higher sense. These are the best kind of relationships. Because invincibility seekers are people who are positive, helpful, supportive, and loving. Ideally, you would have as many invincibility seeker friends as possible, and you would have a lasting love relationship with an invincibility seeker of your choice. The greatest romantic love of all is invincibility seeker love. This is when two people help each other improve their lives and bring light into the world. This is a beautiful relationship of like-minded soul enhancers who are helping to enhance each other's souls to reach a high level of living that is far beyond the ordinary. When you think about having a relationship with an invincibility seeker partner, realize that meeting one is much different than finding a typical love partner. You don't need to chase, pursue, or convince them to love you. You don't have to win them over or capture their heart. The beauty is that you just simply need to raise your invincibility level. This means that you will love yourself first. And to love yourself means that you are true to yourself. You go for what you really want in life. You express the way you really feel. In the real world, people are emotionally drained by inauthenticity. This is especially true in the world of dating and romance. A person wants to find someone to love, but meets endless frustrations in their quest. To impress a dating candidate, many singles wear a psychological mask that hides their true nature, which I talked about in my book Love Types on compatibility in relationships. And the problem is that when the mask comes off, they're often disappointed to discover that they were not nearly as compatible as they originally thought. When an invincibility seeker meets a negativity seeker, someone who is critical and negative, the invincibility seeker will quickly realize that they have nothing in common. Although they may have a surface attraction, it will be impossible for them to have a lasting and loving relationship because they are residing in widely separated psychological levels. There is no real attraction because like attracts like. While it is true that certain differences in a couple can be attractive and even complementary, most successful long-term relationships are based on compatibility or similarity at the deepest level of values, beliefs, and goals. This is especially true when we look at psychological or spiritual compatibility. This is when two people who are at similar levels of inner development have a desire to grow their invincibility together. If a person wants to attract an invincibility seeker mate, they need to become an invincibility seeker themselves, developing the qualities of compassion, gentleness, kindness, empathy, and patience. True love in romantic relationships blossoms when two people fully and deeply understand each other, when they have a sincere desire to share a higher psychological and spiritual life together. Their mutual affection grows as they awaken to their true natures. When two people are their authentic and true selves, they will be united in love. They can't hurt each other because pure understanding passes back and forth between them. They may be different physically or in their personalities, but both are individual reflections of the single supreme, God or nature, which consists of pure love. At a higher level, love becomes a quiet consideration and empathetic understanding of another person. When one partner finds their lover's prized item which has been lost for days and quietly places it on the dresser, that is love. When a husband has his wife's bubble bath ready for her because he knows she's had a hard day at work or home, that is love. The other important thing to recognize about an invincibility seeker relationship is that they are not based solely on surface characteristics like looks or charm. Many times people put others on a pedestal just because they are attractive, intelligent, or successful. When they do this, they are engaging in a form of false worship. It's important to realize that others are not better than you. You too have special qualities that are attractive and appealing. And the most attractive quality of all is your invincibility, your authenticity, creativity, patience, compassion, and love. When you meet the right invincibility seeker partner, you will have a love like no other, one that is not just based on meeting each other's surface needs such as sex or companionship. Instead, it is founded on a pure and deep understanding of the other, knowing each other's goals, habits, dreams, preferences, values, fears, and hopes. This leads to a total acceptance of the beloved as they are, forming the foundation of a powerful and loving relationship that lasts and doesn't fade when the looks or status goes away. It will be a love affair that stands the test of time and is based on giving love without expectation the greatest love of all. Let's talk about another important aspect of relationships, what we call sexual transmutation, how you can have energy for maximum triumph by applying your sexuality in the right way. When aiming to create unstoppable relationships, it's important to understand the power of sexual energy. Sex can be a powerful force for both creativity and destruction. Unfortunately, too many people misuse their sexual power and waste it on in momentary exchanges of lust, power, and pleasure. But there is a higher purpose for your sexuality that can help you reach your invincible mind. It is known as sexual transmutation. Sexual transmutation, also known as brahmacharya in the East and sublimation in the West, is the utilization of sexual energy for creative, humanitarian, and spiritual purposes. It's the investment of sexual energy in a person, activity, or idea for a higher purpose. The instinctual sexual drive is one of the most powerful forces and motivations for human beings. 
or the simply the need to procreate and pass along our genes, sexuality represents the need for excitement, pleasure, power and submission, intimacy, ecstasy and love as well as deep, meaningful connection. But at the same time, when sexuality is untamed and unchanneled, it can be a distraction and a negatively disruptive force for both individuals and society. Sexual transmutation is the ideal use of sexuality. It is the channeling of human sexual energy into a higher state or frequency that will contribute positively to the individual and society. To achieve sexual transmutation, you need to stimulate your mind to create and operate at a higher higher than average plane by using a mental stimulant that combines some of the most powerful forces on earth, sex, love, and romance. In our daily lives, we may get good ideas, but they often slip by. Our minds are often distracted and don't have the capacity to hold higher awareness. We don't retain our higher ideas because our minds are distracted by the needs and desires of everyday life, especially the desire for romantic sexual attraction and expression. Consequently, if we indulge in actual sexual activity to excess, our mind can lose its strength. A healthier approach would be to transmute your sexual energy from your physical desire to a higher desire to help, create, and contribute to humanity. When you do this, you're able to raise your mental state to a much higher frequency of energy, and you can accomplish much more in the process. With sexual transmutation, you don't deny or repress your sexual urges. Instead, you consciously channel or focus them on a higher or noble cause. People of higher intellect and spiritual goodness are able to stimulate their minds to vibrate at a superior level by using their sexual energy in an intelligent way. How do you apply sexual transmutation to your daily life? There are actually two ways to do this. One is to invest your libido, or sexual energy, in a love partner who is also loving to you. Both of you extend loving energy without expectation toward each other. In this way, your sexual energy becomes fused with love and romance and inspires both of you to achieve the greatest heights of success and love in your personal relationships and lives. Sex is the excitable and passionate element, while love is a calming, emotional substance that enhances your purpose, poise, accuracy of judgment, and balance. This ideal love-sex-romance combination is truly the ultimate chemistry of the mind that can change everything. The second approach to sexual transmutation is to maintain celibacy or minimal sexual activity and instead use your sexual and love energy to accomplish great things in the world. These may include inventions, works of art, literary pieces, as well as business and humanitarian ventures. Or you may apply your energy by being fully present as a loving parent, friend, and work associate. It's true that you are a more attractive and charismatic person when you transmute or channel your sexual energy instead of spending it excessively on unproductive sexual physical activity. This is especially the case if you add love into the mix, the love you express to humanity as well as to your love partner. When you combine sex and love in this way and create a fantastic love mixture, your whole persona and nature will change. Your handshake will be warmer, your posture is straighter, and your voice is more melodious. You have infused your body and mind with an unstoppable elixir that encourages creative, loving, and healthy thoughts while discouraging the presence of destructive emotions. Think of sexual transmutation as a way to turn up the vibrations of sexuality into a form of intelligent, even genius. Unfortunately, many people lower themselves below animals when they misuse the great sexual force that has been given to them. Even animals indulge their sexual natures in moderation. A majority of animals have sex only in certain seasons, thereby harmonizing with the laws of nature. Humans, on the other hand, have an open sexual season in which they may waste this powerful sexual energy on physical motions that have limited meaning or significance. The important part of sexual transmutation is to encourage the presence of sex, love, and romance as dominating thoughts in your mind that are uplifted for creative and humanitarian purposes. The emotion of love needs to be added to sexual energy because with love, humans enhance their artistic and aesthetic natures. Love leaves a mark on the soul even after the fire of sexual passion has subsided. Memories of love never pass. They linger long after the source of stimulation has faded. We have seen people who have been stimulated to great heights of achievement by love, especially by what is known as agape or unconditional love. When you love deeply, you commune with an infinite intelligence. As you blend love, sex, and romance, the barrier between the finite mind of man and infinite intelligence is removed. This noble vibration lifts you higher in heart, mind, and soul. In our society, men and women who have a high sexual energy are often looked out upon with suspicion. They may even be cursed and labeled as defective in some way. As a result, they may develop an inferiority complex and may misuse or waste or dissipate their sexual energy in disorganized ways such as random love affairs and loveless sexual liaisons. Or they repress it and pretend not to be as sexual as they really are. They become overly rigid and sexually repressed people who condemn others for the same sexuality which pulsates inside them. The reality is that people with a high level of sexual energy can be great leaders, creators, and humanitarians if they learn how to blend their sexual energy with love and romance in the pursuit of a higher and nobler purpose, such as helping humanity and spreading love and goodwill. These individuals who properly channel their sexual energy can become charismatic figures with firm handshakes, attractive tones of voices, and powerful and uplifting vibrations of thought. 
In addition, they have more energy, motivation, and perseverance to accomplish their goals because they are driven by the inspiration provided by the lover of their choice. Many battles have been won. Many great inventions, businesses, and works of art have been created when the parties have been motivated by love, sex, and romance. Let's take a look at some of these examples of love, sex, motivation that have led to great accomplishments. Shah Jahan was someone who built the Taj Mahal one of the new seven wonders of the world, in memory of his wife. It took 22 years to build, with experts gathered from all around the world to create it. Another example is F. Scott Fitzgerald and Zelda Fitzgerald. Esteemed author F. Scott Fitzgerald and his wife Zelda were considered the most famous couple from the golden age of jazz in the 1920s. The writer loved his wife very much and cared for her even after she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. F. Scott Fitzgerald tried everything he could to help her, and he made her the inspiration for the female protagonist of his novels. Also, we have Cass and Michael Lazaro. This married couple founded Buddy Media, a social enterprise software company that connects top advertising firms with consumers. In his article, Why I Have Sex with My Co-Founder, Michael makes the case for couples to start businesses together. He explains, Working with my wife is easy, far easier than working with someone I barely know. Our skill sets are perfect complements. And then we have Bill and Melinda Gates. One of the wealthiest technology innovators in the world, Bill Gates and his wife Melinda are well known for creating the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, working to improve the lives and health of people in developing countries and in the United States. Finally, we have Casey Sackett and Jennifer Wong. When husband and wife, Casey Sackett and Jennifer Wong, were expecting their first child, Jennifer wanted to find a better way to track, capture, and share her pregnancy journey. As a result, she and her husband created various apps for expectant mother, including the popular Baby Bump, a pregnancy and social networking app. So we see throughout history, there are numerous examples of great accomplishments that were fueled by passion and love for a romantic partner or spouse. Working together and inspiring each other through their sexual and love union, these couples were able to accomplish great things for themselves and humanity. Always remember that sexual transmutation is a key when you fuse sexuality with love. Since sex can be an uncontrollable force, love and its cousin romance are the emotions that serve as a safety valve, giving you calmness, confidence, peace, and harmony. This combination can help you reach higher states of super achievement and happiness. When you transmute your sexual energy and combine it with love and romance, you have the right chemistry of mind to achieve your greatest goals. You will be able to obtain ideal health, maximize your potential, and love deeper and better than ever before. So Love University students, go out this week and strive to discover that high-level relationship, invincibly seeker relationship, and enhance the one you're in. If you're in a relationship now, fuse your sexuality, romance, and love together for a higher sense of mind and power. And give love without expectations, which is one of our greatest rules of all at Love University, is to love others without expecting anything back. Go out and smile at people, say hello, pay people sincere compliments, help others, volunteer for humanitarian ventures. And as you give love without expectation, you will find that you will start to create unstoppable relationships. You will be a happier person inside internally, and you'll be able to give more love to others. If you have any questions or if you want to be on the show or have a show idea, you can reach us at loveuniversity.love. Write to us at loveuniversitylove at gmail.com. Call us at 310-226-8090. You can like us on Facebook at Love University Podcast. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Love Letter U Podcast. You can subscribe to us on Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes. For your copy of Invincible You, the book, you can go to Amazon.com and BarnesandNobles.com. Invincible You is a great guidebook to achieving your highest excellence, to go beyond obstacles to achieve your invincibility and inner power. So till next time, love you university students. Put away your notebooks, your iPads, your iPhones, and we'll see you next time. This is Dr. Alex Avila. 